Hello everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. Today I'm going to show you where the timing marks are on a Porsche 928 four and a half liter engine. Stay tuned. All right everybody, so today I've actually installed the timing belt on the 928 and I figured I'd take a couple of moments just to show you guys where the timing marks are in case you're wondering about your own engine. So on the crank we have the there's a 10 degree uh, OT another 10 degree and then a 23 degree mark so you want to set that at the 10 that the OT mark lined up with the pointer that's on the water pump. Up here the marks are on thanks to the wise engineering of the Germans, the marks are actually on the backs of the cam gears. So you'll probably need a flashlight to see them, but if you look, let's see if I can illuminate this properly. So with the help of some crafty lighting, you can see the little notch right there on the back side of the cam gear. And on the passenger side, that lines up with that notch right there in the cam cover. On the driver's side, it's actually going to line up with, you can see, let me grab a, on the driver's side of the engine, we're looking right back here. This is the indicator here. That part I'm rubbing the end of the tool on. And there's another mark in the back side of the cam gear that's very similar to the one on the passenger side. I would highly suggest putting some kind of indicator on the front of the gears when you go to take apart the engine or redo the timing belt because these will most likely slip when you bump them and index themselves a little bit in one way or another. The crank should stay pretty good. There is a tool that goes in the backside of the engine that locks the flywheel in place for torquing down this bolt here. All right, and so also when you're doing your timing, there's one more thing to check. You can pull the distributor cap and uh, let's see here. So these are actually numbered. I don't know if I can see them very well, but right there at the tip of the screwdriver is a, there we go, number one. So if you pull off the cap, the rotor should be pointing to number one. And then you can also make sure that the rotor is pointing to the little notch in the distributor. So let me pull the cap off real quick and I'll show you. It comes off real easy. Just push these little guys down like that. One here. There you go, and the cap comes off. And if you'd routed the wires correctly, it would come off super easy. I did not route the wires correctly, so give me a minute to fix. All right, so since I ran the wires over under the uh, hose, uh, the outlet or inlet, whichever one that is, uh, instead of through these clips like they're supposed to be, so see if I can show you this. The lighting is not great in here, but you can see right here, I'll use the screwdriver to keep my big chunky finger out of the way. So right there, it's a little notch in the distributor, and if you use your thumbnail, you can probably feel it, or the tip of the screwdriver, but kind of the baseline setting will be the rotor at number one will point right to that, so when you put your cap back on, See if I can do this one-handed here. It's all my other stuff in the way. So there you go, number one. This one actually has a little tag on it too that says number one. But that is it. That is the locations of the three major timing marks for the Porsche 928 16 valve 4.5 liter engine. So hopefully this helps you find the timing marks on your Porsche engine really easily. Uh, so you can do the 928 timing belt. So that's all for this time. Until next time, get out there and work on something.